Matt and Mara is the new movie by Kazik Radwanski, and this is his fourth feature film. I first saw his work in 2021 with Anne at 13,000 feet, which blew me away. That was the first time I saw actress Dara Campbell and Matt Johnson, Canadian filmmaker and actor, also shows up as a main character on that movie. And here we have both of those leads return on Matt and Mara as the main characters. And this time we have them play much different people. Dara plays Mara, a creative writing professor, and Matt Johnson plays this guy named Matt Johnson, who is a published author, very successful. He, with the round frames especially, looks like DFW. And it's funny, his book is called The Rat King. The two of them unexpectedly reconnect and begin to catch up in very much their own way. And what we get here is an absolutely fascinating view of the human condition and interpersonal relationships. This movie does so much in 80 minutes. I am blown away once again with the work that Kazik does here. Everything here from the editing style, how little millisecond cuts are made, to the crystal clear digital photography, and how literate, complicated, and realistic all of the connections are here. I give Kazik credit. This is one of the most bookish movies that I've seen in recent memory. And the two leads give off such naturalistic takes. From the nature of it, you would often think, is this a will they, won't they type of connection? But I found what they were as something more platonic but unique in itself. It was something complex and specific to them. And the movie does go into that kind of territory with Mara being a married woman and Matt being a free-spirited single guy with a lot of charisma. The characters' decisions on this movie, even when they do come off random, they also seem likely. I love the scene where Mara decides to say to her musician husband, and his musician friends that she doesn't listen to music and she doesn't have an intellectual response to it. Dara Campbell sells it so well with her wide-eyed and uneasy disposition. I recently reviewed her on Family Portrait a couple months back and while a lot of her characters have similar traits, they all seem like very different people and this makes her one of the most fascinating talents that is out here now. I feel it is only a matter of time until we're going to actually see Dara in more sizable performances. I think she is great. As is Matt Johnson who is also climbing the ladder more so as a filmmaker but as an actor it's great to see him do these genuine quirky characters. He's especially great at acting as if he got double crossed or betrayed. He is there with his jaw open and you can't help but to feel bad for him sometimes. But as his character, he is tackling something a little different, playing somebody who is so well put together, getting smiles from people in public and is very photogenic. And also love the camera work, focusing on our characters facial reactions and following them into one room after another like a documentary. I will be clear, this is a pretty small scale movie about people and their relationships with art and how that bleeds into their connections in life, but I loved this. I would be watching this right now if I could. It doesn't overstay its welcome and it is interesting from beginning to end. I give Matt and Mara an 8.7. It is released by Cinema Guild and it is in select theaters now. Thank you for watching.